Hi besties, it's me Paige, back with another video. Um, I don't know when this video is going up, I don't know if me and Jasmine reacting to the Acer Day performances will be up before this, but as you can see I got my hair cut. I think it's so cute, I think that short hair era Paige is the best era Paige. Um, so I'm definitely going to probably keep it short, but anyways, ignore the mess behind me also, that's embarrassing. Um, but today... I'm going to be making a back in the zone VVIP experience video because I've seen a couple other reactors make them and I think it seems fun. I also know some of you maybe, I don't know, might be curious like as to what happened. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you definitely should. I probably already put it on the screen and it's also in the description. I actually just recently changed my Twitter at to Pops and Shy so that it matches the YouTube and it's easier for people to find. So anyways. But yeah, I just thought I would film this because uh, people might be curious, I don't know. Or you might not care, also don't know, but I just wanted to talk about my experience and everything about the concert and also, I think that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's it. Sure. So, the concert. Let's talk about the fan meet first because that happened first. So the fan meet was on August 1st from 1... No, two to it was scheduled from two to five, but it lasted longer than that, and I'll get into that. Um, so actually, what had happened was I work on Saturday nights, so I didn't get home till about 10, and I tried to take a nap until 1 a.m. I ended up waking up at 1 30, so I got like probably an hour and a half of sleep because I didn't fall asleep until like 11 30. Then I woke up, I got into the Zoom, I got in like right before 2 a.m. I was like stressed that they weren't gonna let me in, so I was like already stressed. So I got in, there was literally pretty much 900 people in there. I was like, first of all, whoa. Second of all, that is so many people in a, like a VVIP thing because there was also VIP. So it's like, I feel like they probably should have maybe not sold that many VVIP tickets, but it's fine, whatever. Yeah, then the fan meet happened. They played a couple games with 18 and they were really cute and really fun. And the boys seemed really, really happy and excited, which was like so good to see because I don't know, I was just so excited to even be there. Um, but literally throughout the fan meet, like keep in mind, the fan meet was 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. my time. And I worked Sunday morning at 8, 11, so there was no time for me to sleep whatsoever. So yeah, the fan meet finished and then we were supposed to go into breakout rooms so that we could do the little photo op thing. Um, which obviously if you have Twitter or you were in the VVIP, you know that that didn't work out. They were trying to do it for like an hour and a half, almost probably two hours. And like we were scared that the concert was going to start before we like got to do it. So they ended up just rescheduling it. But it was like a super stressful time because I was going to try to take a nap before the concert. But obviously I couldn't because the fan meet was still happening. Um, but yeah, they ended up rescheduling it and then... We all went back to the main room and the boys actually like joined the main room again and were like apologizing. They looked very, very sad and like just like they like especially Josh, like they looked very like disappointed, like which they shouldn't be like they did not need to say sorry. It was not their fault. Like it should have been a little more organized in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Then this is when it gets a little crazy, everybody. I'm like, my heart is beating just thinking about it. I was like sitting in my bed, lights were off, I was like tired, I was like laying down. And then they were like, oh, we're gonna start like calling people's names like from the room. Mind you, there was like 900 people there, so I was like, they're definitely not gonna call my name. But I was still like, mm, maybe. They called a couple people's names that I know. They called Lou and they called K-pop Sis, which was so exciting. And Minyo TV also. And then all of a sudden I hear Pablo, hi Paige! And I was like, whoa! And then I know, and then I know Justin was like, Paige, hi Paige! And then Ken also said hi to me and he was like smiling. I was like, Ken! Um, and then still was like high pitch, really high pitched, hi Paige! And it was like the cutest thing in my life. I don't know if I want to put the video here. Um, because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm also going to like just play it just in case I don't want to put it in. But thank you to everyone that sent me videos because I didn't. I only got the audio of it because I'm stupid and didn't think to film the actual Zoom because I didn't want to get in trouble, first of all. But Lou sent me a video and oh my god, I'll put their at. Another person sent me a video. Thank you so much. I 
literally about sobbed. Um, but I'll like play the video so you can see. Like Ken was like about to be like next one, but Pablo was already like hi Paige. I was like stop. Hi Paige. Hi Paige. I'm really sorry. I watch your videos, your reactions, and everyone with your friend. Yeah. Um, I, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Enjoy our concert. I just. I like couldn't believe I was literally shaking I was like I was supposed to take a nap now I'm wide awake like I'm literally shaking in my bed it's like 6 a.m. at this point I had a zero sleep I was literally like just on the verge of tears like I don't know I like I just love them so much and I did not expect them to even get to me and I was like I felt sad because they couldn't get to everybody but then you know in the reschedule one they ended up saying hi to everybody so that was good at least but yeah I I was literally shook to say the least like obviously they've been pretty open about how they like kind of watch reactions some of them do some probably don't I don't know also Josh in the video he was just really zoning out I don't know I think that he was very like sad about how the like how it was going like I think that he was he definitely looked the most like upset about it not working out because there was just so many people and I can I can just feel like I can just assume that he was just a little bit stressed about everything but yeah obviously they're pretty open about like knowing a couple reactors it's always a thought in the back of me and Jasmine's mind but we never are like oh yeah they totally watch our videos because it's like no I don't think they do I think they might have seen a couple I don't know I don't know but according to them, they watch our videos. So I don't know how regularly that is if you're watching this. Hey, what's up? Love you the most. Um, but yeah, I was literally shaking, um, especially because Pablo said he watches our videos. And I was like, I don't know. I feel like if anyone, it would be Stell. But yeah, I was just like, I was just like really going through something. To be like greeted by all of them was like, I don't know, made my heart so happy i was literally crying i literally texted jasmine in all caps like freaking out at like 6 a.m she wasn't even awake but yeah i am just so thankful and grateful to them they are just the bestest boys ever of all time oh <sighs> anyways so then the concert happened obviously if you saw my tweet you know i fell asleep during the concert i'm so stupid but i got a replay ticket for free so it's fine i'll be enjoying the concert at a later date thank you <laughs> But moving on to like the second um, little like rescheduled meet and greet, I ended up being in session four because I didn't want it to be too late. I stayed up until literally 6 a.m. anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. But it was supposed to be like 1.30. It didn't end up happening until like 2.20 a.m. Like they were really behind like from the start, but I knew that they would probably finish everybody. Um... So I actually, like, beforehand, Melly was DMing me. I'll put her at somewhere on the screen. And she was like, oh my god, like, do you want to join a Zoom? Like, some of us international, like, fans are, like, freaking out together beforehand. I was like, yes, of course. So it was me, Leanne Caters, Lou, Melly, and Sam, and Z, like, in there before. And then, like, we logged off and, like, we all went to our rooms because most of them were in session three and I was in session four so that happened so in my session basically how it worked was the boys each called out 10 people's names or it was around 10 there was about 50 people per room and in session four I ended up with a whole bunch of like Canadian stands so like I feel like they thought that that was like I was Canadian or something but I'm definitely not no offense to the Canadians but I was just like I wonder how I got in this room like I just picked a random room um but yeah I picked a random room and Justin actually was the one that gave me my shout out so they were like reading off a paper they weren't reading off like the zoom names and so he read my like full legal name I'll put the video probably or the audio and then so he said he said hi to me and then he was like I like your name and I was like thanks I was just like waving and stuff and then Stell waved to me and Pablo also was like it's nice to finally meet you and then yeah that was basically it and he and Justin was like thank you for taking the time like out of your day to do this and I was like no thank you because they had a long day I know they were probably stressed out um to Paige Paige Fresher oh hi I like your name it's Paige oh, Ellen Paige 
Hi, Paige. Um, I hope you have time. I thank you for the time. <laughs> so, yeah. And then it gets better. I know Lydia explained this in her video, so if you're watching this, you're probably like getting a whole bunch of repeat information. But we went on a Zoom again afterwards. It was the same people plus Lydia joined us. And we were just talking and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, like, the boys were, like, really active on Twitter. Like, especially still Pablo and Josh. So we were, like, trying to get their attention. Because, like, obviously we were awake and we were, like, what else could we do? And so then, like, Lydia was trying to find, like, a video from her session. Because I think she was in the first one or the second one. And, um... Like, she didn't take a video, so she was like, so she tweeted somebody in her session if she could get the video. Pablo replied to her and was like, I'll let them know and I'll get you the video or something like that. And I was, we were, we were freaking out on Zoom. We were like, literally what? And then Lily was like, what should we do? Like, what should we do to like, I don't know, get their attention? Because <laughs> we were just, we were just wilding out on Zoom, mind you. We were freaking out. And so we all decided to do the salama, like, with our with our arms and stuff like spell it out on zoom because there was like a perfect amount of people it like worked out so well and the picture turned out so so cute so we're like okay lydia is gonna tweet it and like tag them or whatever but like lou couldn't be tagged in photos so like we're like okay lou you just tweet it so she tweeted it literally almost instantly like pablo liked it and then replied to us and we were literally screaming it was like 3 4 a.m at this point and then, like, a couple minutes later, probably 10 or 20 minutes later, Stell liked it and we're like, whoa, like, are we gonna, <laughs> is this happening? We're like, whoa. And then literally 30 minutes later, probably Ken liked it, which Ken never likes tweets. I was so surprised. I was like, whoa. Like, we were literally just freaking out at this point. Like, 6 a.m. comes around and, like, the after party still hadn't started, so, like, I know we like all went and checked it out, the ones that did have VVIP, but it didn't like... There wasn't much happening. I think that Josh, Pablo, and Stell were there um, like saying their last final words. I think that Justin and Ken, either they couldn't connect to the new Zoom link or they just like were able to get in. I don't know what happened there, but overall my experience was so amazing. I literally love these boys so much. I'm so excited for... The concert replay, I'm gonna probably try to go to both, but if not, I'm at least going to one, so that's okay. So yeah, I just, I want everyone to know that I just had so much fun, and thank you for all the nice words on Twitter. I don't even think anyone on Twitter knows that they, like, shouted me out on the first one, because I didn't really tweet about it, because I didn't want to tweet the video, because I didn't want to get in trouble. But yeah, I was... I had so much fun. It was so fun. Thank you, Melly, for inviting me to the Zoom. I made so many new friends. Like, a lot of you may not know, but I don't really have that many friends, especially reactor friends. So it was really fun to, like, Zoom with all of them and get to know them. And it was just so fun. And I hope that we can Zoom again soon. So, or maybe even, like, collab. I don't know. It would be fun to, like, try to figure out something. But, yeah, everyone mentioned this video will be tagged down below. And that was my experience. It's literally bittersweet. I feel... I don't know i've been so happy these past couple days and i love sb19 they deserve the world um i want to like i don't know if they're watching this but i just want to say thank you like if you are watching this for taking all of the time out of your day to do that it was so fun and i know it meant a lot to every single person that got a vvip ticket because there was a lot of people that they had to say hi to so i know just know it means a lot to literally everybody for just you guys to even say our names like i don't know so yeah, that was my experience. If you have any more questions, let me know down below and I'll try to answer them. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.